Sea Ray. Every moment perfectly crafted. Hi guys, it's me, Joey Sharp, Sea Ray Boats. Today I'm here to talk to you about Fusion Audio. I have Dan Suters with me from Fusion, and we're going to talk about some of the key features and benefits of Fusion Audio on Sea Ray Boats. Yeah, thanks, Joey. Um, I think today we're going to talk about some of the features that set Fusion yep. aside from uh, from the other brands out there, and, and probably why Sea uh, Ray chose us, but also how to actually use those features as well. So things like uh, digital signal processing, which we integrate into the stereos, uh, allows you to have the best quality audio out on the water. Uh, Built-in Wi-Fi on board our stereo systems allows you to use uh, technology like Apple AirPlay, AirPlay 2 for high quality streaming. Uh, we've got Fusion Link uh, integrations with the Simrad plotters on board, with the remotes and with the Fusion Link app on the phone as well. So there's loads of really cool features that set us aside. Um, so that's what we're going to have a look at today. So great, let's go take a look at this new technology. So Dan, let's talk a little bit about Fusion Link. You know, you and I have been talking a little bit, and from what I understand, Fusion Link's more than just an app on my phone, right? Yeah. That's so can right. you tell us a little bit about what Fusion Link is and what it does? Sure. Yeah. So to to us, Fusion Link is um, is a whole networking protocol. Uh, so it's yes, the app is called Fusion Link, and you can do all of your stereo control functions and everything from there, which is great. And I encourage every C Ray owner to to download the app. It's free to download. You can do all of your different volume zone controls. You can control your bass and treble. You can do more advanced um, settings as well if you want to. Uh, but Fusion Link as a whole is, is, is a broader thing. So uh, we developed Fusion Link I think five or six years ago and we we're the first to market with um, a true networking interface. Uh, so this allows uh, every major manufacturer of MFDs, so chart plotters and depth sounders, uh, to actually control our stereos from on screen. Yeah. Um, so here for example the Simrads are a great um, uh, example of that where you can control the entertainment system throughout the boat from your, from your main displays. Uh, it's also, Fusion Link is also used to control the stereos from your watches, for example. So the Garmin watches, you can uh, control your stereo, volume up, volume down, sweeping so tracks. So you're telling me I'm swimming out in the water or paddle boarding around on, out behind this boat absolutely. and I can control the volume? So if I get 100 yards away, I can turn the volume up? That's right, yeah, absolutely. Well, 100 yards might be a little bit of a stretch. It basically okay. is works over something similar to Bluetooth with the, with okay. the watch. Um, but yeah, absolutely, if you're out the back and it's not loud enough, or if you want to yell out to somebody that's on the boat, you can pause the music and yell out to somebody that's in the boat from out in the water, which is really cool. Um, so we've implemented uh, a lot of different feature sets from the Fusion Link protocol um, throughout our product range. Another advantage of it is, um, because it's connected into the NMEA 2000 network, right. um, we can actually pull up other data that's on that network, which is really interesting. So on the uh, on this boat, for example, if it was my personal boat, on the, the remote that we have at the transom, um, I'd love to be able to see there. What is the water depth? What's the water temperature? Uh, so that before I jump into the water, I can have a quick look and see if it's going to be cold or not. Um, so that's that, really easy to set up. Yeah. And it can be a really nice safety feature too. So if you got kids jumping off the back of the boat, you could set the depth and or Absolutely. look at the depth and make sure they're not diving into three feet of water, right? Of course, yeah, that's right. So you can, anything, any information that's on that network. So for example, if there's a location and you want to be able to know if you've moved away from a GPS coordinate, um, you can know that on the stereo remote as well. So um, it's quite simple to be able to jump in and out of this stereo remote control and there's a, a basically an NMEA data repeater as well, which is pretty cool. So not only can I control the sound of my boat through my phone, Mm. from the head unit, mm. from the remote, from mm. a watch, Yes. but you're telling me I can do all these other functions as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Fusion Link's huge and it's growing every day. So we're, we're adding um, new partners to our Fusion Link um, uh, group all the time. So. And from a C-Ray perspective, this is all on all of our C-Rays that have a transom remote and are connected to an MFD. Absolutely, yeah. Any, any of the... Um, Actually, I think all of the C-Rays actually that have a transom remote do have it connected into the NMEA network. So yes, that data is available. Uh, anybody that's out there at the moment that's got a Fusion system on board a C-Ray, you can absolutely set this up today. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, on the NRX remote itself, you press the uh, menu button, then you go down to, you scroll down to NMEA monitor, and you click on that one, and then you just select the sentences that you want to see. So for example, again, here on the transom, I'd want to have depth and water temperature. Um, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can then see if you'd like the screens to cycle or if you'd, uh, you'd like to have to press a button to change yeah. the screens. Um, you can set the cycle time, so in this instance we'll do it for two seconds. So every two seconds it's going to flash between um, uh, depth and water temperature. Uh, and then you can set the, uh, the units of measurement as well. So in this case we'll change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay. Uh, and then you press back. So now you're just into a normal um, uh, stereo remote control mode. 
if you were to normally press the source button, you would get all the different sources available on the stereo. But if you hold it down, instead of seeing the sources, it'll change over to the NMEA uh, monitor mode. Oh, wow. Uh, and all that data is there for you. So once that setup is done once, again, all you need to do when you walk up to it is you hold the source button and you see all that information. So once that setup's done initially, um, there's nothing left to do. You just walk up, press the button, and you can see that information. Well, you mind showing us how to hook it up? Sounds Absolutely. like a really cool feature. Let's do it. All right. Okay, so you just press the menu button, go down to settings, and we're looking for NMEA monitor. Pressing on that, I'm just gonna add depth and water temperature. We'll set our cycle screens down to two seconds. And we'll set units for temperature into Fahrenheit. And so then whenever we hold down the source button, we now get the enemy A data monitor. Uh, at the moment it's showing us depth and then cycling to water temperature. To exit from the monitor, you just press on the, uh, sorry, press on the menu button to exit the monitor and you're back to normal radio mode. So Dan, I want to thank you for being here today and helping us walk through the technical aspects of the Fusion Audio Systems. I think it's going to be a great help to us and our sales team and to the sales team out in the field. So thank you. I've had a lot of fun. It's been great. Thanks, right. Joey. C-Ray. Every moment, perfectly crafted.